Oh boy, a lot of you are going to relish this video. Um, before I get things started here, um, you're going to be lost if you're watching this video first before the previous video I made today about the, uh, the quote-unquote God particle. I'm just going to call it the God particle video from here on out. Um, watch that video and I'm going to leave that video up even though I feel I was genuinely wrong and I want to offer an apology to the scientific community for what I feel is an unfair label that I gave them because I am actually better than the conclusion I drew and I know better and I just I feel like such an ass for being in essence duped by the media so easily um, let me let me just go back uh, to the article that I covered in my God Particle video from earlier today um, there was a specific excerpt, excerpt from it that really got me pissed off at science and the scientific community and um, let me just find that part. Um, okay, it was a sub, and this is a, a quote that I actually pulled out in the video itself. Um, a subatomic particle so important to the understanding of space, time, and matter that the physicist Leon Letterman nicknamed it, quote, the God particle. Now, when I read that initially, and I saw that report, and I read a number of articles that were quoting this uh, physicist, Leon Letterman, um, he did in fact name or nickname, give it the moniker of the God particle, this subatomic particle that's basically being seen as the one thing that's going to show how this whole universe was created and how mass got its substance and all that other good shit. And I was like, wow. This is just so immature of science. This is so arrogant. It's just the epitome of just saying, you know, we're better than religion, and guess what? We're going to stick it in your face, religion. And I drew all sorts of conclusions from that, and I'm better than this because it was my lack of research and understanding for the totality of things that was my, in essence, downfall here. And um, even though I was wrong, I'll leave that previous video up. Now, a number of you have contacted me, um, one of which and first of which was a YouTube user by the name of Lump Couch. Lump Couch. Okay? That's a pretty cool name. Um, he sent me or she sent me an article uh, that basically puts things in the, into a better perspective here, into a perspective that I really didn't grasp or understand. And that is that the scientific community or just the science community in general, hates this term God particle uh, because it is kind of, uh, as Cambia Bam said earlier in my video, twaddish to call it that and I felt it was immature and um, a number of things and turns out a lot of scientists agree with that and I was not in the understanding that science was in disagreement with it. Anyway, I just want to read you an excerpt from this and I'll leave a link for this in the video description if you want to follow at home or um, read more about this. Anyways, a uh, report by Robert Evans in Geneva. Quote, we don't call it the God particle. It's just the media that do that. A senior U.S. Pol a senior union, excuse me, Jesus, Christmas trees. A senior U.S. scientist politely told an interviewer on a major European radio station on Tuesday, quote, well, I am from the media and I'm going to continue calling it that, said the journalist, and continued to do so. The exchange as physicists... Jesus, I'm tongue twisted today. I guess that's what happens when I'm wrong. <laughs> As physicists at CERN Research Center near Geneva were preparing to announce the latest news from their long and frustrating search for the Higgs boson, illustrated sharply how science and popular media are not always a good mix. Quote, I hate that God particle term, said Pauline Gagnon. Gagnon a uh, Canadian member of CERN's, I guess she's French-Canadian, so I'll just say Gagnon, uh, a Canadian member of CERN's Atlas team of so-called, quote, Higgs hunters. Um, anyway, just to make a long story short, the science community hates that term, the God particle, and I basically gave them that label in my previous video, and I was wrong to do so, and when I'm wrong, I'll be the first to admit it, and I was dead wrong on this, and uh, I was misled by the media, but... <laughs> I'm one to try not to get duped by the media, so I, I should have known better than this. Um,
because for I don't know why, but it just it just rubbed me such the wrong way. And I know that scientists are some of the most brilliant minds out there. That I should have known that they would have rejected something like this being called the God particle. So to all the science science community out there, I want to offer my apology, and I was wrong about this. And um, to the media and everyone that's trying to spin this into a holy war, for lack of a better term, knock that shit off. I mean, science is trying to do something here, which is just answer one of the lifelong questions of where we came from. Now, I do stand by part of what I said in my previous video in that, well, you know, there really should be a limit because if no discernible or attainable result is being achieved and no foreseeable result is seen in the future, then there should be a limit to things. Science can basically go into the realm of overkill. And that's the point that I get a sticking point with science in that I don't want to see so many more brilliant minds tied up for decades longer. I mean, this is research, as this article says, is long and frustrating because scientists have been devoting hundreds upon thousands upon tens of thousands of man hours and millions upon tens of millions of dollars into researching something as just minimal or trivial as some people would see as this and eventually it's going to hit a point where I'm going to say alright let's take all these scientific minds and put them to better use elsewhere so I do partly stand by what I said in my previous video but in the grand scheme of things I was wrong to label science as being as ignorant as juvenile as I painted it out to be so I just wanted to make a video here setting the record straight. Sorry for making a double video here today, but when I realize I'm wrong, I'll tell you guys about it. So I was dead wrong here, and I'm admitting it. There you go. How about them apples? Have a great day, everyone.